channel so uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this but um, I actually got a ring light so the lighting should be better for this video um, <clears throat> and all the videos like further coming if I need to add more light I can but as of right now I feel like the ring light is doing like perfect on its own um, so today's video is actually going to be on the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette um, what I want to do is I want to do kind of like a uh, Jacus did it first. It's the play date. So what I'm thinking I want to do is do a saint look and a sinner look. And I want to start with the sinner look today. I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to be, eight. like, I don't know if I want to just use like the saint side or use both. But this is what the palette looks like. So when you take it out of the package... Um, the box feels exactly like the palette does. It's very textured. It's very pretty. Um, this palette is, it does retail for $62. When I had bought mine, um, it was only online. So I don't know if you can get it in your local Sephora yet, but I mean, if you have to order it online, she does have like, um, like mini gifts. So because I bought the palette, I got a little tattoo liner. So I'm also going to use that. I also bought the, um, Locket Makeup Setting Spray. So, in total, this came out to $95. It came out with free shipping, and I got a free liner out of it. So, I mean, I'm not mad about it. Um, this, however, is my first ever Kat Von D palette. Um, I have the foundation. I have the secret brightening powder. I have two lipsticks. Um, I don't have the concealer, so I have an eyeshadow primer. But other than that, I'm just going to work whatever I don't have into the video just to show you guys what I'm using. So this is what it looks like. You open it and this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to blind you guys. I did swatch a couple of these on my hand. Um, I think I'm just going to insert pictures of the swatches just because I don't want to have to like go through all of that. I just want to do the video strictly on a saint look and a sinner look. So... This side right here is the center side. It is very colorful. It's very, I don't know, like unique. Um, I totally wish I could have got my hands on the Pastel Goth palette. That's my biggest palette regret was not getting it. Um, but, I mean, this kind of makes up for it. So there's Rapture, um, Sabbath, Ashes. I'm reading these backwards. So there's Rapture, Sabbath, Ashes. Um, Mar, Mar, I can't even say that word. Mayor there, Devil, um, Revelation or Revelation. Uh, Devil, Re uh, I can't even say the fucking word. Devil, Revelation, um, Vestment, Ministry, Exodus, Exodus. There's Exorcism, Relic, and there is Stigmata. And then on the saint side, you can see these colors are a little bit more... Okay, that just kind of like fucked it up. You can see the colors are a little bit more softer. So on the very, very top, there is um, Absolution, Worship, Immaculate, Chalice, Sacred Heart, Amen, Sanctuary, Haven, Crucifix, Cath uh, Cathedral, Rosary, and Baptism. So... What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to play with a palette. Um, this is a play date, so I'm just going to jump in with the shades. And I'm going to create my center look first. So I'm going to start out with the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. This product isn't sold anymore, but I know she does have a primer stick that you could use in place or just use your regular primer. I like this one because it's got, um, it's got the skin tone to it. Which, it's not like everybody's skin tone, but it color corrects the darkness in your 
on your lid and in your crease. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger. I also really do wish that she carried this like a little longer. Because this is one of my favorite um, primers. I have really oily eyelids and this primer I found um, wears a really long time. And it keeps my eyeshadow like in place. Okay, now that that's all set, I'm going to jump in with the NYX 16 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to jump into Amen, which is this, like, skin tone shade. I always do this with any makeup look. I always use a skin tone shade first. So I'm just going to play that all um, from the crease up to the brow bone. And that's just going to set the primer so that way in case we do darker shades, they're not going to get muddy or patchy or gross. Also guys, this is like one of the first times that I've done a like talk through video. I don't really do talk throughs just because I like doing voiceover more in case something goes bad like while I'm recording or you know, anything like that because I want it to be like the best that it can be for you guys. Okay, so now that I have Amen all over the lid, I mean all over the crease and to the brow bone. What? Okay, hold on. Let me let me just build this one right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Hold on. I'm gonna make sure that I'm saying this one right. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into Martyr. That's what this shade's called. I said it wrong in the first part of the video. My bad, cat. So I'm going to use just a crease brush. This one doesn't have a name, so I can't really tell you guys. Um, but it's one of the brushes that you guys see me use a lot. Um, so I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to apply it in the crease. I don't really know what the look is that I'm going for. I'm kind of just playing with the shadows to see, like, what I think of them and, you know, what I come up with along the way. The shade's really pretty though. It's like a brownie yellow orange, if that makes any sense to anybody. So I'm gonna jump back in with the NYX 16 brush and with ashes, and I'm just gonna blend out the top of that, just so this way it diffuses the line and it doesn't look like a hard edge. The key in like doing eyeshadow, I find, is that if it looks, or if it's blended, and you don't see harsh lines, it doesn't look bad. Even, especially with, like, black eyeshadow, that was my biggest... Black eyeshadow still is my biggest, like, fear, because I'm always afraid that I'm going to mess up with black eyeshadow. But I feel like if you blend with, like, brown shades and, um, like, skin tone shades, it works out really, really well. So I builded that color up to about how much I want. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm feeling like... I'm going to take Crucifix, which is the darker brown shade, this one right here, and I'm going to take that, this is an Ulta small eyeshadow brush, it looks like this, and I'm just going to pack that on the outer and inner corner, kind of like a halo eye. I feel like that's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, Crucifix is so pretty. I'm not very much of a brown tone person, and I'm pretty sure you guys know that. I like, like, colorful looks, but oh, this looks so pretty. And these eyeshadows, they're very creamy, um, which I know is weird to say, especially with the powder form. But they're very nice, and they're very soft, and I'm finding that they blend well. Like, this one had, like, a little bit of a hard edge, but I just blended it out. I've been waiting. This package, it literally took, like, about a week to get to me. Which, I mean, isn't that long, but, I mean, going with everything that's been happening in the world, with all the, like, hurricanes and stuff. I mean, hurricanes and stuff. 
Um, every time I order a package nowadays, it just seems to be like, well, it might be affected by like hurricane storm weather, so uh, it might be a delayed package. I'm just like, great, great. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take this flat eyeshadow brush. It does not have a name. I'm sorry, I'm working on brushes, building my brushes to make sure that they have names. Um, I think it's so hard because I'm like in love with these. I think I'm going to go in with Vestment right here, this like blue-brown shade. And before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get a little bit of the primer, put it on my hand, literally like a little dot's all you need. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just going to apply that in the center of the lid. Just because I want this color to really, really, really pop. Also, too, I think I'm going to use my finger with this shade. Don't feel like you guys um, can't use your finger. As long as your hands are clean and, like, you're doing, um, like, hand sanitizer or something in, in between, like, you're, you're fine. You're totally cool. And that's on, like, touching other people's faces or just, like, you know. So with my index finger, I'm going to dip into, or like rub into vestment. That's the, that's what it's picking up. And I'm going to put this in the center. Oh my god. I, I love this shade. Pretty much anybody who knows me knows that I'm like a warm tone person, but with blue brownie shades I like to like I don't know I have a thing for them so like whenever I see a blue brown shade in a palette of course I'm gonna like either buy it or look to see if it's sold individually that's pretty much the reason why I got the Manny MUA palette and my boyfriend he made me a um what's it called a buxom eyeshadow palette and I have a brownie like green tone brown shade in there and then I have one from Wet n Wild. I just collect those kinds of shades. I like them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with um, Martyr, take a little bit, top off the excess, and I'm just going to blend out the crease um, just because I don't want it to get muddy in there. And if you can see on this side, you can see where the colors are like starting to get patchy. Um, I'm just blending that out. That's not the shadow's fault. That's my fault. So same thing on this side, I'm just blending it up a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is with the exact same brush that I was using Crucifix with, I'm going to go into Sabbath, which is the black one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing where I put the Crucifix just because I wanted to darken up a little bit more. Because this... um. The vestment shade is really, really pretty, but it seems to be taking away the crucifix shade. Going in with the same brush that I used Martyr with, I'm going to use Devil, get a little bit of that orange into this look. Just because, especially since this is like a blue brownie kind of iridescent shade, the orange will really, really pop against it. Now going in with the tattoo liner, I'm going to do a little wing, and I'm going to use, okay, the lid is like falling, I'm going to use the side of the mirror. Bam. I did the inner corners, so all I did was I kind of stretched it out, I mean, stretched it in a little bit more, so I took the liner and I just kind of like did that motion. Okay. I'm using the Feather Lashes in the shade, or in the number, or in the name Spank. Um, 
I really like these lashes. They kind of just fill in where you want some hair. They don't give you like too much. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. You get Too Faced Better Than Sex since I just put, I mean, since I just curled my lashes. I could have gone with the more intense lash, but you guys already know that I do intense lashes all the time. So I wanted to make sure that me doing this one, you're able to see like the the grungy, the like the dark tones. I wanted you to be able to see the shadow versus just seeing an eyelash. Cause I feel like when I wear eyelashes nowadays, I always wear like the thicker ones. And it's not like on purpose, it's just because I feel like they suit my eye better. Especially because I'm a boy and like little dainty, um, I've said it before. Little dainty lashes aren't my, my forte. I'd rather have like a thick full drag lash than like a wispy. But I do like my wispies on my like softer days. Foundation, um, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. It's the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I've taken mine back about like three times to try to get a shade lighter and a shade lighter and a shade lighter. And it just doesn't work out in my favor. So I don't know if she's like reformulated them or if she's changed the... I don't know if she's reformulated them or if she changed the formulation of it at all. Um... I haven't used it since then, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take it in the back of my hand, and I'm going to take one pump, I'm going to actually do three pumps, this should be enough for your full face, and then I'm going to take the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white, and I'm just going to try to lighten it a bit, because honestly this foundation is orange, like this foundation shows up hella hella orange on my skin, and I'm not going to mess with that, because I already know, I already know. The last time I tried to use this and wear it out, I looked very oompa loompa y by the, by the way, this shade is medium 56. I am very, like, yellow-toned. Um, but just for some reason, this foundation didn't work out in my favor. Add a little bit more of that Pro Foundation Mixer because it's still looking a little orangey. I really want to make this video all about face. But I wanted to use Kat's, like, face stuff just so that way you can see, like, it is kind of more so a cat video. That looks a whole lot better on my skin. So I'm just going to use a Real Techniques um, sponge and I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. And the reason I'm doing this first is because I don't want to, um, I don't want to put eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then get it covered with foundation. Also too like my next big project is to get a different lens for this camera so that way I can like super super zoom in and stuff. I'm just trying to better myself for like my channel. Okay, so pretty much all I did was I went underneath my eye and I used porcelain, my NYX HD concealer, and then I used my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. Um, I like these because they give me like a brighter under eye, but it gives me more full coverage. So what I'm going to do now is, since I've done my face, I'm going to use the Locket, um, the, ew, Locket Secret Brightening Powder in Petal, um, and I'm just going to set under my eyes. I like this powder and a little bit does go a long way. So like I'm using that much in the cap. I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it. But I'm using a very light amount and it's going to be enough to go a long way. I like this powder because I feel like it brightens my under eyes. But it also just kind of like, I don't know, it does something magical to my skin. 
where it makes my skin look like perfect and like pore free. I don't know, I just, I love this powder a lot. And my sister actually bought this for me for my birthday, so I'm very grateful for it. Now is I'm going to use the brush that I used to go into um, Martyr and Devil. I'm just going to use whatever's a little, no, actually I'm going to dip in one more time. I'm going to dip into both shades, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to run that underneath my eyes. Just because I want a little bit more color under there. Um, because I want it to match the top, but I wanted a little bit more color in the brush. And so I'm just blending it under my eye. Just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, Exodus, which is this, like, chartreuse green. I'm going to take it on a small shadow brush, and I'm literally just going to start packing that in the inner corner. I know we put the um, the eyeliner there, but I changed my mind, and I want this to be a little bit more like, because I mean, this side is the center side, so I want this to look more like dramatic, more intense, because I mean, what's the point of having all these colors if I'm doing the center look on the center side and not using them? So I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. It's like a glowing, really pretty uh, green. And I know that I took um, Absolution underneath the brow, but I'm feeling like I'm just going to tap off my brush and very lightly, whatever is left, I'm just going to run that under the brow. So it just gives it the like tint of green, but it's not completely green. Um, and it's still got that like goldish tone underneath it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a fluffy synthetic brush I'm gonna dip into ashes which is this shade right here it's um kind of like a cool tone brown but it's got green glitter reflex in it and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eye I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in that but like it's really really pretty it's such a unique color because I don't feel like I've seen this color before and then I'm gonna take the same brush that I used to do um, vestment on the top, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the bottom. But what I'm going to do is instead of bringing the brush down, I'm just going to press it up. So I'm going to put it where I want it, and I'm just going to press up. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to stay concentrated in just the center. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I used for ashes. I'm going to dip it one more time into ashes, tap off the excess, and just blend out the sides. Because it's kind of like a dot underneath the eye, and it looks really cool. Just like that. And I think I'm going to take... The same brush that I put, it's the Ulta small eyeshadow brush that I put um, Sabbath and what else did I put? Um, Crucifix on. I'm going to take Sabbath again, tap off the excess, and just kind of smoke out that wing a little bit. Because I want this to look grungy. I don't want it to look too pretty um, because if this is the center side. I don't know. When I think sinner, I think of like grungy, gothy, like dark, vampy. Not your typical Tuesday shadow look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush that I used um, Amen with and I'm just going to blend that out. The Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Right, right, right. Am I right? on Exodus and I'm going to put that on my lips on like the center of the lips you get a setting spray and I'm just
just going to spray my face with this. So this is my center look. Um, I'm going to be posting a video soon of the Saint look. Um, and like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's very dark, grungy, goth-esque. And I don't know, it's just, it's, this is what I think of when I feel, or when I hear Sinner. This is what comes to mind. Like, dark makeup, like a witchy, grungy, dark, goth feel. So, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I really like this palette. I'm going to be using this a whole lot more. I'm trying not to use it too much, though, because, you know, it's a collector's um, palette. Because it's only here for the season. Uh, it's a seasonal palette, so it's only uh, going to be for, I want to say, Christmas. It's a Christmas palette, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon with the Saint side. So, till then, bye.